Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report, cruising on this weekly update, more specifically the new Windows 11 update build 22581. This build doesn't have too many changes and improvements, but there is some special news I gotta tell you about. This build, the 22581, is also released to Windows Insider in the beta channel, so there's a small window in which you can switch from the dev channel to the beta channel and float on the same Windows 11 build. But note that this window will close once Microsoft releases builds with higher build numbers to the dev channel. So that means if your device remains on the dev channel and receives a build that's higher a build number than what's in the beta channel, you will need to do a clean install of the released version of Windows 11 on your device to switch to the beta channel. So be careful about that, that's really important. But in case you wanna switch to the beta channel, here's what you gotta do. Press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and afterwards make sure to click on Windows Update on the left pane. Now, on the right side, select the Windows Insider Program category, and then in the next slide window, you have a drop-down menu that says Choose your Insider Settings. So just click on it. And then you'll see that in here you have the Dev option, and then the Beta option, and you can just tick the box next to the Beta, and then Windows will take care of switching you to the Beta channel. Okay, so let's dive into the changes brought with this build. Microsoft stated in a non-descriptive way, like just info with no other visual data or anything alike, that Windows insiders who use the dev channels might have the chance to experience and try out new ideas and features that might never get released. That means that with this experiment, only a very very limited set of insiders will get to explore these experimental features. So make sure to keep an eye on your dev build, as probably insiders will be selected randomly. So what do they mean with this? Well, if your computer will act really weird or if you'll get some features that maybe you don't understand, well, you're part of the experiment. So make sure to give your feedback on these features to improve the quality of Windows 11 for everyone else. Moving on, another great improvement comes to devices that have Windows 11 but can also be used as tablets. So remember that this doesn't work on laptops or PCs that don't have this feature. This tablet optimized taskbar feature, which already rolled out with the build 22563, is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev and beta channels. So what's this about? Well, you'll have two taskbar states on your tablet which are collapsed and expanded. In the collapsed version, your taskbar will be clean of icons and you will have more space. And then in the expanded state, the looks will be similar to having a laptop, with all the icons in the taskbar. And the fun part? You can switch between these states by swiping up and down on the bottom of your device. I think that's pretty cool and easy to use. But moving on, Microsoft stated that with this new build, a few fixes were brought to the taskbar, such as the top borderline now extending across the entire taskbar, which everyone will see regardless of the device type. I wasn't very sure about this because I never saw this borderline, but now I think I'm starting to see it. Pun intended. And lastly, another great improvement is related to the Show Hidden Icons flyout, which has been updated to match the rest of the visual style of the taskbar. I think it looks really cool, but a great analogy to Windows 11 is that of a piece of clothing that has been patched so much you can't recognize it anymore. So I guess all the visuals should have been there from the very first place. Well, in the same time, you won't be able to drag and drop to pin items in here. But it's only for the moment. So, as a side fix to this, you can now show or hide these icons by right-clicking on the taskbar and choosing Taskbar Settings. In here, scroll down until you find an option that says Other System Tray Icons, so click on it. And you will get a drop-down menu with a list of all the hidden icons and you can hide or show them as you like or shut the whole thing completely off. And that's pretty summing up the features and news about update 22581. I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual like and subscribe to our channel for more news in the world of tech.